hi and welcome to solution in YouTube channel in today's video I'm going to show you five longest words in English that I know and you might have not heard of we will start with the lowest one on our list and move up towards the longest one I will tell you how to correctly pronounce these words and also I will tell you what these words mean so let's start with number five this is the smallest word in our list and it contains 28 letters the word is anti disestablishmentarianism so how to pronounce it correctly it's easy to pronounce it if we can break it in three parts anti disestablishment arianism once again anti disestablishment arianism so what does this word mean the word typically means the opposition to the withdrawal of state support the word is a technically a term referring to a political movement in 19th century in Britain that sought to separate church and state. the Anglican Church to be exact in this case political movement wanted to disestablish the Church of England as the official state church of England Ireland and Wales now let's come to number four it is a 29 letters word called floxinoxini Henley Pili flication so how do we pronounce it correctly it is easy to pronounce if we can break it in four parts Floxy, Noxini, Henipli, Flication. Once again, Floxy, Noxini, Henipli, Flication. The meaning of this word is referred to as a habit of estimation of something as valueless. So the person suffering from Floxy, Noxini, Henipli, Flication also shows that they are not interested to learn from something or they are kind of egoistic persons so this is something related to floxy noxini hilipli flication next is number three it is a 30 letters word called pseudo pseudo hypo parathyroidism come again pseudo pseudo hypo para thyroidism once finally again pseudo pseudo hypo para thyroidism now it is technically a medical term often used as pphp and it is an inherited condition that causes short stature round face and short handed bones it causes joints and other soft tissues in the body to harden it also affects your bones how they are grown and as a result pseudo pseudo hypo parathyroidism can cause bones joints and nerve damages and this damage can cause lasting pain so pseudo pseudo hypoparathyroidism is another disease number two this is another 34 letter word and second highest second longest number on our list it is called supercalifragilistic expedialicious this is a long word and it can be hardly to pronounce so we can break it in another uh, different parts so let's break it super califragilistic expia lidocious once again super califragilistic expia lidocious so this is a word invented in 1940s and it was made popular by a film called Mary Peppins it means wonderful extraordinary 
awesome so alternatively it is also used to express some over excitement often used by children number 1 this is the longest word in english language that i have came across and it's a 45 letters word called Nimono ultra microscopic silico volcano coniosis so this is kind of the most difficult word to pronounce but we can break it in six different parts to correctly pronounce it so nimono ultra microscopic silico volcano coniosis once again nimono ultra microscopic silico volcano coniosis so this is a term for a lung disease caused by inhaling silica dust that causes inflammation in lungs as clear from break up of this word you can see that it is a disease caused by microscopic as in very tiny dust particles of silica gel or sand while this disease is actual a medical term most people will never hear a doctor attempt to say this absurdly long word so you might not hear from your doctors as well this is it hope you have enjoyed my list of five longest words in english this is not the end so if you guys have any other abnormally long words that you know of tell us in comments see you in our next video until then take care